to make an updated version of Pinch, Twist, Park, and Draft on a drop spindle. Um, we're going to be, I'm going to be adding twist. I'm going to be working in a clockwise direction, which is a Z twist. And I will be spinning this whorl to my right. So I am twisting, adding twist, and drafting. I need to back up just a tad here. Not sure my camera. It's okay if my face doesn't get in there, but I definitely want you guys to see the fiber and the spindle. Hopefully, at least for the majority of the time of this video, since that is the point. So twist, I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, make my singles a little bit longer. I like to have a decent amount. Sometimes I go to the floor or just before the floor. I'm adding a little bit more twist. I can feel up here that it, it gets it gets tighter and that kind of gives me a clue about how much twist I've added and what sort of yarn I'm going to, <clears throat> what I'm spinning how much twist I've got in there. So I'm going to check that twist though, um, just to be sure before I wind it onto the spindle. Um, so I need to park this. Oh, I need a pinch. <laughs> I do it so automatically. Um, the pinching is really important. Um, you're going to be pinching the fiber always, <laughs> off and on always. But when you stop spinning, your hand is pinching this fiber right here so that twist does not enter into your fiber source. So that's really important. Um, once you spin a little bit, it will become second nature and you won't even think about it. But um, as a beginner spindle, spinner, it, it sometimes is, there's too many things going on and it's so easy to forget um, to do that. So twist, pinch, and park. So you can park your spindle under your arm either arm, whatever's more comfortable, um, or you can park it down here in your knees. And I'm going to do that because I have a decent length of fiber here. Um, so I'm going to park it in my knees and then a couple of inches, maybe two or three inches away from where I am pinching. I'm going to grab my fiber and I'm going to fold it over onto itself and I'm going to keep it the tension here until it's fully folded over. And then I'm going to let it go. And it's gonna, it's gonna twist back on itself, and that's called a plyback. And that is your plyback test. It's gonna tell you what a two ply yarn will look like at this current rate of twist that you put in here so far. So let me see if I can get this a little bit closer. If you think that, oh, it's, it's a little too fluffy. I'd like it to be a little, have a little bit more twist. Go ahead and add more twist. So you just take that out, give your spindle another spin. Wait for your, you're not drafting anymore. You're only adding twist to this length from your hook to where you pinch at your, you're pinching at your right in front of your fiber source. So you're only adding twist to this length of yarn. That's what you're testing. So I'm adding a little bit of twist and then I will go ahead and park it again. Do my ply back. Ooh, that, that's looking pretty good. It's a bit tighter. It's got more twist in this section of singles. So it's tighter. It's a little bit thinner and it's got a little bit more snap energy to it. Yeah, I like that. So happy with that. Then you want to take your singles off your hook and wind it onto your spindle. Whenever you're winding on, you want to leave a few inches. This is good. You can make it a little bit shorter if you wanted to, maybe about, about an inch, but you want to leave enough space for when you start to, when you go to spin this again that you have room to work up here 
if you're way down here starting to work from here, your fibers are gonna already be wrapped around the hook and you won't be able to draft them because they'll be in place already cinched down by your hook. So you wanna give yourself enough room to work. You wanna give your um, twist enough room to start moving and then you can start drafting. Ooh, that's gonna come apart. Drafting too fast. So the rate at which my spindle is spinning is not putting twist in to my fiber as quickly as I was drafting it, which means it's gonna fall apart and my spindle will drop to the floor. But I could feel that it was really loose, so I just grabbed it. I pinched it with this hand, grabbed it, held it together while I let the twist move back, move more twist up into this particular area, and keep going, keep drafting. I'm gonna do a pinch, pinching it here, park. test. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this one more time. I realized that um, in reviewing the last video, I, you couldn't see my playback test. So I'm going to do a real quick spin here, adding twist, just a short length, Pinching, always pinching when I'm not drafting, or if I have decided I want to stop and just work on a section, I'm pinching to hold back the twist. I'm gonna park it, park it in my arm this time. It's a little bit shorter. And I am gonna do the playback test. I wanna do that again. A little bit lower. Nope, there you are. 